Good morning, and welcome to this special Quest edition of Hawk TV News. I'm Kayla Hernandez. And I'm AJ Molina. Our top story this morning, Project Quest. The Hillsborough County School District sponsors this summer program called Project Quest. As Hawk TV's Olivia Larry shows us, high school students can now achieve a college experience even before they graduate. Physical and vocal warm-ups are the first matter of business of the day in this intro to acting class at Hillsborough Community College. But in this class, it's a special group of students taking this training at HCC. I was really uh, elated to get in this program and find out what college life was like. I feel a lot more independent. Teachers don't nag you and it just gives you the real college experience. These are actually high school students taking college courses this summer. Quest is uh, essentially a dual enrollment program for students. They are in class for three weeks on the HCC campus of their choice. Students will earn uh, two class courses um, involving six um, credits as well as one high school credit. Uh, these courses will involve both their high school GPA and their college GPA when they transfer to a Florida State college. It provides an eligible student an opportunity to earn both college and high school credit. The acting program in general for Quest students it brings out a lot of skills that we need every day in our life. So whether you're going to be an actor or not, you can learn these skills in this class. Students say this class is very fast paced. In 12 days, they will learn monologue, perform scenes, learn improvs and techniques. This program is really, really challenging and uh, everyone is doing really well in it. Uh, so I love to be able to see what we can do in these three weeks. In the afternoon, these Quest students switch to a broadcast news class where they learn TV reporting and production. Originally, what I thought I was getting out of it was just, you know, the, just a couple weeks of spending time on this campus and just getting my college credit. But I realized that I found people who are funny and energetic. And I feel like I have more freedom here. Like, I get to pick and choose where I go instead of um, in high school where I have to go from this area to this area and then to this class, to this class. Any rising high school senior with a learning disability may participate in Project Quest. For students, it's worth it. In Ybor City, Olivia Larry, Hawk TV News. If you're a rising 12th grade student, Project Quest might be for you. For more information, visit the college website at hccfl.edu. In other news, now you know America is known to be one big melting pot. And right here in Ybor City, there is a summer camp that is actually teaching kids the Italian culture. Hawk TV's Jasmine Huggins brings us to Campo Italiano. In a historic building in Ybor City, children sang Italian melodies after lunchtime. Just another day, one of the kind summer camp at Italian Club of Tampa. Campo Italiano because our focus is on the Italian uh, heritage. And uh, this is the 11th year we've been having this camp. Every year, children between the ages of 6 to 13 participate in different Italian activities. At Campo Italiano, there's Italian cooking, art, storytelling, music, even bocce ball and crochet. Basically 25 activities in a week. For the crocheting, you know, it's nice, peaceful, peaceful and you learn how to uh, make nice stuff. We go through storytelling, we do tradition, we learn language, we do craft, arts and crafts, we do crocheting, and we cook. Campo Tarayado. The students here learn Italian heritage. No big surprise, their favorite activity to do is cooking. Meatballs, but they're really good. <laughs> it's not your average day camp. The goal here is to pass on the great culture, the Italian culture. So uh, we decided uh, that we wanted to keep the culture alive and uh, the best way we thought would be for us to uh, indoctrinate our children. The camp leaders say after a week at Campo Italiano, the young campers know how to speak, sing, and dance Italian. Teaching them Italian songs and uh, it's amazing what they can learn in just a couple of days. Ciao. It means Hello and goodbye. <laughs> Buongiorno means good morning. Amo Giuliana. 
Campers seem to enjoy learning about the different countries from state certified teachers who happen to be all Italian descendant. Dancing, uh, we practice for our uh, concert Friday, which all the parents come and see us singing it. Our music have a big effect on the students. Uh, it helped them in so many ways, in discipline, in uh, expression, education, inspiring, and fun. Campo Italiano is offering one week every summer, but campers say the lesson learned will be some they will remember for years to come. I love it. I love all the culture about it and the, about the language. I, I'm Italian myself, and I come here just to learn about my past and my family. HCC campers, Jasmine Hagen, Hot TV News. Space is always limited for this camp, so if you are interested, be sure to sign your kids up as soon as you can for next year's Campo Italiano. Well, one unique exhibit at HEC explores something you don't normally see for the female desire for world peace through silk art. Intrigued? As Hawk TV's Nick Jennings found out, there are many forms of silk art that expresses many interests and new experiences. Silk art takes the spotlight at the Ebor Art Gallery at Hillsborough Community College this month. Silk art is painting on silk, and we use several different methods, which you will see as you take some, as you look around the exhibition. Elizabeth Mitchell is a Tampa silk artist and the curator of the show. This silk art exhibit includes an installation of 2D and 3D art pieces. Images of landscapes and dreamscapes, Mitchell says the collection celebrates the rising awareness of women's world visions on global and environmental concerns. The art you see here was created by seven different artists from across the United States and Europe. They are all hand-painted silks and represent women's global and environmental concerns. Mitchell explains to Hawk TV what this unique art means to her. The medium is silk and the message you can see is the beauty of nature and our longing for a world at peace. The artist also told us silk art can come in different forms. Works can be quilted, embroidered, constructed, or framed. Ebor Gallery visitors seem to appreciate the originality displayed here. And I think it really brings out you know, a lot of emotion and a lot of creativity that the artists, you know, put into this work of art. There's different type of artwork, artwork people put very hard work into that make it, you know, so extravagant. Uh, though this silk exhibit will only be here for one month, there are other places you can see this type of art. My work is in two galleries. One is at uh, based in gallery next to Mise en Place in downtown Tampa, and the other is at Clay Paper Gallery in Dunedin. The amazing form of art that is sure to inspire and make you think. Well, this is like a new experience for me, so I see some nice paintings, paintings I've never seen before. Uh, for me, it is amazing because I love the, uh, the sea, I love the ocean, I love the animals over there. I love everything here. From the Ebor Art Gallery in Ebor City, Nick Jennings, Hawk TV News. For more information on silk art at HEC, check out hecfl.edu. Search silk art. From art to food, now we all know Ebor City has many restaurants that can satisfy any hunger and taste. I had the chance to go around Ebor to experience some of the most delicious dishes that neighborhood has to offer. Ybor City, a neighborhood full of history, culture, art, and entertainment. There are many reasons why people go to Ybor City, but food is always a main attraction. A lot of good restaurants like Columbia Restaurant, Panini, Ybor, Acropolis, Green Taverna, and Shrimp and Co. From Italian to Cuban, Japanese to good old-fashioned American burgers, locals and tourists have a variety of choices when it comes to places to grab a bite to eat. Uh, it's wonderful. Carmine's, Tropicana, Columbia, those are the stalwarts that have been here most of my life. But there's some great new restaurants now, too. There are dozens of restaurants to choose from here in Ybor City. Hawk TV wanted us to find out some places for students to eat, so we hit the streets. That's right. 
Ybor City may be a small Tampa neighborhood, but it packs big flavors. There are dozens of restaurants here offering unique and classic dishes on their menu. There are many great restaurants in Ybor. There's my favorite is New York, New York pizza because there's lots of good food there and the atmosphere is really good. Oh, I find Ybor City very tasty. There are wonderful restaurants all up and down 7th and the side streets as well. I was here Monday at Hamburger Mary's and I had a burger, which I can highly recommend, and I liked it so much. It's Wednesday and I'm back two days later. We stopped by Bernini on 7th Avenue to sample some of their classic dining. Bernini's is known uh, throughout the community. Um, uh, not only word of mouth, um, but also if you take a look at our online reviews on Yelp and TripAdvisor, we get awards every year for uh, the food, the atmosphere, and the hospitality of the, of the restaurant. Ybor City's restaurants have established ties within the community, which seem to bring a more neighborly dining experience to customers. We have a lovely community here, and we have a lot of people who come on a regular basis. And it's always fun to welcome our regular customers back in. It's also uh, wonderful to see people who have never been here come here and really enjoy the restaurant. So whether it's Greek, Mexican, Irish dessert, or coffee you're craving, chances are Ybor City has what you're looking for. For me personally, uh, um, I, really, I really enjoy hospitality and, and having the same people come back and bring their families and book special events and come because they really just love being here. They feel warm and welcome and, uh, and they can't wait to come back. That, that just means so much to me. A great community, a great place to eat. Locals and visitors seem to agree. There is no place like Ybor City, especially when you are hungry. By the way, many of Ybor City's restaurants offer HCC students discounts, so make sure you ask before you order. Speaking of food, one well-known Bay Area bakery is celebrating a very important anniversary this year. Hawk TV's Christian Cruz Castro has the details. The smell of bread fills the air in this kitchen in Ybor City. Bakers cut palmetto leaves in preparation for a tradition that has been happening here for four generations. They use the uh, infamous palmetto leaf down the center of the bread. It's one of their signature uh, items to give it its unique feature for Cuban bread. Welcome to La Segunda Central Bakery. I've been doing the Cuban sandwiches for years since I was a yay high. It's a big year for this small Tampa bakery. I'm always like super cheery because I'm wondering what the customer is going to tell me, like how long they've been coming here, what they always come and get. Um, sometimes they come with like their grandkids or the kids. This year, La Segunda Central Bakery celebrates its 100 year anniversary. 100 years of delivering fresh baked goods and delicious food to the community. I know they've been making the uh, Cuban bread for years. They have a, a, that's their signature item from my understanding. 100 years of bringing the Cuban culture to Tampa Bay. For me, everything is good, but my favorite is the bread, and I come from far to get it because I live in Brandon. Yeah, a lot of the process we use are similar to what we used 100 years ago. La Segunda Bakery has been around for over 100 years now. That means a lot of people have been coming here since they were young, all just to get a taste of this delicious Cuban bread. Over the decades, this neighborhood favorite has seen a lot of celebrations, weddings, birthdays, and reunions. Even the regulars who stop in for one of the bakery's famous Cuban sandwiches, a dessert or pastry, say there's a sense of home here. The environment's great, the ownership's great, um, real family uh, oriented, and uh, they definitely look out for their employees. After 100 years, it doesn't look like this business is slowing down at La Segunda Central Bakery. Customers say it's a Tampa Bay jam that just keeps you coming back for more. I love their sandwiches, uh, their deli. In Ybor City, Christian Cruz Castro, HTC Hawk TV News. To find out more about the business and history of the La Segunda Central Bakery, check out their website at lasagundabakery.com. Well, we are really starting to get off into the dog days of summer. It is hot out there. Yep, it sure is. The question now is, is there any relief in sight? Time now to check the weather. Let's get some answers from our Hawk TV weather girl, Matrina Maluda. Matrina. Thanks guys, you are right, it is sweltering in Tampa Bay, but it's only June so you can expect at least a few more months of this hot weather. For now, let's take a look at the rest of the week. On Wednesday, it's going to be mildly sunny with a high of 91 and a low of 79. On Thursday, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 91 and a low of 75. 
On Friday, it's going to be mostly cloudy, but we're still going to experience the same heat with a high of 91 and a low of 79. On Saturday, it's going to be sunny again with a high of 90 and a low of 78. And on Sunday, we're, it's going to be another sunny day with a high of 91 and a low of 78. So there's your weather report from the Hawk TV Weather Center. I am Matrina Maluda. Stay cool, everyone. Now back to you, AJ and Kayla. Oh, thank you, Matrina. Finally this morning, a musical treat. Local pop recording artist David Camden is on his way to big time stardom. That's right. The South Tampa singer just released his first EP, and he's performing all over the country. Here's Hawk TV's Danielle Calzone. Local recording artist David Camden sure knows how to draw a crowd. Who says you need to have money to On the streets of Tampa's Ybor City neighborhood, Hillsborough Community College students got a little sample of Camden's musical talent. Fortune to my name. But I can take you to places you never knew. Other my parents were always musicians and they were always into the arts and they were always into pushing us and <laughs> forcing us to be uh, in the arts. And so both my brothers sing as well. Ever since he was young, Camden has had a passion and a love for creating music. My parents were just really good at um, you know, saying, look, you have a talent for this and, and we're going to help grow that talent as much as we can. And now, Camden is living the dream. David Camden grew up in a small town in Illinois. He has always been surrounded by music and ever since then, his popularity has been a huge explosion. On iTunes and on Spotify, his new EP is out. Go check it out! His recently released EP, Grow Old With Me, has propelled his music career, and he now finds himself sharing the stage with many of today's most well-known artists in the music industry. Fans and industry execs alike describe David's music as soulful pop, and recent articles including this article on BuzzFeed, writers compared David Camden to pop stars Bruno Mars, Justin Timberlake, and Sam Smith, all rolled into one. When I'm writing music, what inspires me is usually just real life scenarios. For instance, the song that I wrote, Who Says You Need to Have Money? I wrote that thinking about a time whenever uh, my family was actually broke and the power was being shut off on us. Like all artists, Camden has worked very hard to accomplish his goals. Um, well, I started out, I was actually selling real estate <laughs> to pay the bills. From selling houses to making music, Camden performs for groups large and small nationwide, consistently producing new material and staying in the spotlight. We just, you know, just think about how the crowd's just there to have a good time, and I'm there to have a good time. When David Camden is not traveling and performing, he is in fact sharing his love of music by inspiring young artists throughout the country. I would say keep making videos of yourself actually um, because the video or the mirror, you know, just something where you can see yourself, you can hear yourself, that's your best teacher. So look for this name, David Camden, and don't forget to download his music on iTunes and Spotify. I would say the best part is just um, just the experience along the way, the people that you meet, and feeling like you're actually pursuing what you want to do. The sound will definitely get you up and dancing. On HCC's Ebor Campus, the New York House Zone, Hawk TV News. You can get more information on David Camden's music and where he is performing next at thedavidcamden.com. Well, that wraps up this Special Quest edition of Hawk TV News. For all of us here at Hawk TV, stay classy, HCC, and have a great day.